breaking welcome to today's headline we are helpless army unable to trace bandit location l five waves we are helpless army unable to trace bandit location l five waves to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from stay tuned as i read today's news Kaduna State Governor Nasir Arufai yesterday lamented his administration's helplessness following the inability of security operatives to fo- to locate the hideout of bandits terrorizing the state. Arufai spoke to journalists after his meeting with President Muhammad Buhari at the State House, Abuja to brief him on the security situation in the state, where terrorists recently killed no fewer than 40 persons. He noted that the security agencies operating in the area have been overstretched despite the many security institutions in the state as they are involved in operations in all parts of the country. On the availability of intelligence, to trail the bandit. He said, yes, we received security report. We know a lot about the bandit, where, where they are and their activities. El Rufai, who lamented the killing of 40 persons in the state, saying that although there had been such incident, said the recent killings was a great shock and called for more intervention of security forces, noting that whereas the security forces were doing their best, their effort was not enough. He said the recent Federal High Court declaration of bandits as terrorists opened the way for the security agencies to engage them frontally without any hindrance. The government stressed that no one would be taken to the international for killing, insisting that Kaduna State would not negotiate with bandits, as its resolve was to kill them. On the appropriate terminology for the criminals, he said, they are bandits. If you want to call them terrorists, you can call them terrorists, but we don't want to confuse them with Boko Haram. The indigenous people of Biafra Ipop has been branded as terrorists, but we don't call them terrorists, we call them IPOB. The nomenclature does not matter, what matter is what they, they are now, fear game for the armed forces. Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai yesterday lamented his administration's helplessness following the inability of security operatives to locate the hideout of bandits terrorizing the state. El Rufayt spoke to journalists after his meeting with President Muhammad Buhari at the State House, Abuja to brief him on the security situation in the state, where terrorists recently killed no fewer than 40 persons. He noted that the security agencies operating in the area have been overstretched despite the many security institutions in the state as they are involved in operations in all parts of the country. On the availability of intelligence to trail the bandit, he said, Yes, we received security report. We know a lot about the bandit where they are and their activities. El Rufai, who lamented the killing of 40 persons in the state, saying that although there had been such incident, said the recent killings was a great shock and called for more intervention of security forces, noting that whereas the security forces were doing their best, their effort was not enough. He said the recent Federal High Court declaration of bandits as terrorists opened the way for the security agencies to engage them frontally without any hindrance. 
the governor stressed that no one would be taken to the international for killing, insisting that Cardona State would not negotiate with bandits, as its resolve was to kill them. On the appropriate terminology for the criminals, he said, they are bandits. If you want to call them terrorists, you can call them terrorists, but we don't want to confuse them with Boko Haram. The indigenous people of Biafra Ipop has been branded as terrorists, but we don't call them terrorists. We call them Ipop. The nomenclature does not matter. What matter is that they are now fair game for the armed forces. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Let's move to the comment section and let's see what is what people are saying. The first comment which I have here says, Forget Nigerian securities. Better call Gumi to show you their ident. Definitely, I think Gumi should Gumi notes Gumi has always been going to the terrorist den to negotiate with them. So terrorist um Gumi should be um should be called on and asked. Gumi should be consulted on how to get to the terrorist den. And another comment which I have says, is it that you refused to know or you have been paid or and suddenly the training you undergo became useless? What a pity. Another comment here says, you cannot locate the people you paid taxpayers money. You cannot locate the people Gumi visits in the bush and solicit for them. How did I even end up here? God please give us Biafra. And the last comment which I have says, how can you be that helpless? Was it not you that located the ter terrorist bandit and paid them for a job well done? Lead the army to the same location if they are unable to locate them. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please let's move to the comment section and let's